Hey everyone, welcome to Electrofun. It's been a long time since I've made any video, but here I am with a new video. In today's video, we will see how you can generate a PWM pulse with an STM. So let's get started. First, I'll open the STM cube uh, IDE. Now, a lot has changed since my previous video. Uh, earlier, we used to use a different app, which was uh, CubeMX, and then generate uh, initialize peripherals and generate a code and then open some different IDE where we compile the code, make some changes and then upload the code. But now uh, everything can be done with the cube IDE. It's fairly simple. It's new for me as well. So let's hold on to it and see how we can use this. So I'll start with a new project. I'll open my ID. I'll start with a new project. It will ask me my target selector. In my case, it is a board, which is Nucleo F44RE, this board. And then I'll do next. I'll give the project name. Uh, I'll give PDM tutorial and then next. Everything looks good over here and then we'll finish it. So I'll initialize all the peripherals to default. You can clear the peripherals and reinitialize it again as we used to do in previous video, but it's not needed as of now. So we'll just build on top of what we have initialized by default. So we have the crystal, we have push button, we have the UART initialized, some LEDs and so on. Now what apparently we need is we need timer that can generate PWM. So we'll go on to timer, come on timer one, we'll enable the clock source to internal and then we'll enable the channel one. So, okay, I have did, I did that with mouse. So as, as you can see, it's fairly getting difficult for me so I'll just connect my mouse over here so now what I need is PWM PWM generation channel 1 I'll select that now it gives some parameters over here now how to decide on this parameter so what I'll do is first I'll go on to clock and I'll see what is the clock of my timer. As you can see, it's this clock, APV1 timer clock, which is 84 megahertz. So if you want 100 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz frequency uh, waveform with your PWM, you have to do that uh, division accordingly. So what I'll do over here is it's 84 megahertz, right? So 84 divided by 84 over here which will give me one megahertz, right? That is my prescaler. And let's see, we have one megahertz. And then if we divide that by 100, so 10 raised to six divided by 10 raised to two, which will give me 10 kilohertz, right? So if my period is 100, it will get 10 kilohertz. And if it is 10, which it will give me 100 kilohertz. So I'll just keep it 10 so that I get 100 kilohertz. And then this is everything stays default over here, except the pulse over here. So what pulse means over here is it's the duty cycle. Now the duty cycle is with the counter period. So if my period is 10 and if I have five over here, so my duty cycle will be 50%, right? So I'll have five over here, just, just as an understanding, I'll save this. I'll generate the code. Okay. That says something. Now this will do all the initialization for peripherals that we have assigned over there. And it initialized timer, UART, everything. Now what we'll do is we just have to start the timer. So we will come to all the initialization and then over here we will just start a timer hal time underscore start 
we have to give the timer definition and the channel so if you remember it was channel 1 and then we'll just save it if there's an error it will give an error if not we just make sure that everything so it says that could not find hard timer start so all we have to do is look for the right instance that can basically start your timer so what i'll do is i'll go to the definition where everything is defined and then i'll see if i can find some definitions that will help me to start the timer so i'll go to drivers over here includes and then i'll look for timer I'll scroll down where all the functions are defined and then I come down to this section which is my functions so as you can see it's hard time pwm start so we have to use that we missed this and now we can just uh, scroll it down and see if we have uh, Prescaler as 84 that is what we defined it for and pulse as 0 we did not define the pulse as 0 we'll just do it 5 over here now I'll compile I'll compile this and then I'll upload the code now there's one more thing that we missed over here which is when I enabled this channel 1 it was PA8. Now, how will I know from a nuclear by looking at the nuclear board what is a PMA PA8 pin? So, what I have over here is I found a, I found a document that gives you the pin mapping. So, this is my board nuclear F446RE, and this is my pin PA8, which is D7 on my Arduino pinout, which is right over there. So I have to connect to D7 so that I can see that waveform. Now I'll just build it. Oh, okay, I just build that. Now what I'll do is I'll just connect my board. The now I will run. So this will basically upload the code. We don't have to change anything over here. Everything remains the same. It will start uploading the code. So to check the waveform at that duty cycle, which is 50%, that is what we expect 100 kilohertz frequency and 50% duty cycle. I have a analog discovery uh, scope, digital digiland scope. It's fairly easy to use that way, portable. So I'll just connect that. So for some settings, it's I'm using a 10x probe and then I will sh stop it over here. So what I'm, what I'll do right now is I'll connect the, connect my scope on D7. So I've connected that. I started that. I have to adjust the scale a little bit. We have something, but how can we understand what is that something? Let's do some basic settings. Reduce the time scale. I'll give a trigger. Let's reduce it further. And then I'll do some measurements over here. Redefine. I want some horizontal frequency. And then positive duty cycle. And then I'll stop. So we have a frequency of around 90 kilohertz and duty cycle of 50%. That's an approximation of what we have done. So this is all about how you can generate a PWM from STM. Now I'll do some few changes so that it's easier to understand. I'll go back over here. Now what we had was 10. 
that was giving us 100 kilohertz what i'll do 100 over here which will give me 10 kilohertz and then instead of 5 i'll do 25 now 25 from that 100 will be 25 percent duty cycle i hope this makes sense i'll generate the code and then i'll go back to my uh, ide and i'll make sure that everything is changed over here my period is 100 pulse is 5 sometimes this pulse doesn't change as we are as we are expect it to so i i'll change it manually over here i'll make it 25 and everything else remains the same i'll compile it and then i'll upload it again so what we expect over here is a 10 kilohertz frequency waveform a square waveform square wave at a duty cycle of 25 percent so once we have that i'll open my digilent now reduce a little bit then i'll stop it so we have 10 kilohertz frequency and then 25 percent duty cycle i hope this clears a little understanding of how you can generate a different duty cycle waveform at your desired frequency that's all for today i hope uh, this is cleared if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below till then take care thank you